Good. Now I gotta ask you this also. You and Tamika. You saw the tweets when you said, you know, about talk about Usher, how, you know, you like him because you heard he can put it down. Uh, then she got her let's feelings. Let's make it very clear. Let's right, make it very clear. Clear the air. I was playing a game, Andy. From was, Bravo, yeah, right. Yeah, from Bravo. He had a show that comes on after our show. And he had me and my mother playing a game, and he asked us sexual questions. So we had to put down answers. Mm -hmm. So one of the questions he said, like, if you had to be with a celebrity male for one night, mm -hmm. who would it be? So I wrote Usher because I was like, what, like I answered it when I answered. It. I said I said Usher, but I don't have celebrity crushes. But if I had to name a guy, I guess it would be Usher because I heard he was good in bed. Mm -hmm. Now, mind you, we was talking about people you had to spend the night right. with. Okay, I don't have a crush on Usher people. <laughs> I've been knowing Usher since he was like twelve years old or something crazy like that. I mean, he's cool people, loving them death, but I don't have a crush on him. But if you had to think of celebrity men, right. he's a good-looking black brother, you know what I mean? And then he, his reputation precedes himself. <laughs> okay, so I picked him. She had the nerve, his ex got an attitude and said something real foul about me on her Twitter page. Right. And of course, you know, anytime you say things on Twitter, you know, people going to retweet it to the other person. Did you see what that person <laughs> said about you? So at first somebody hit me and was like, you saw it, um, you know. She like, said it. She. She said about you. <laughs> yes. And I was like, um, no. And so when I looked at it, I was like, <laughs> I just wrote to, I I added her. Uh -huh. And I was like, you know, I said, oh, so. You want some more bull. Yeah, I said, you want some more BS, I see. The real word right. for BS. But it kind of ticked me off. Now, mind you, I get crazy stuff from people every day on Twitter. Mm -hmm. But she's a person. Every time I've been knowing her for years, since way before she married. Since right. her first, the, not, she, well, her marriage prior to this, okay. him. And I was cool with them, with her when she was married to the old person. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. So I always speak there. I never had a negative thing to say about it ever. And so it ticked me off like a person that I know personally that I consider to be a friend. Okay, not associate. a friend, but associate. Okay. We was cool. And for you to come at me all crazy over a game, like you lost your mind. Like <laughs> it, it made me mad. So that's why I said what I said. I didn't really go there. Right. I didn't really go there, but I did let it be known like I had a problem with it because mind you, we will see each other again. Right. So I don't want you coming up to me uh -oh. playing like we friends and hey girl, <laughs> I don't want that. Don't don't right. let don't it, be fake. Don't it, it, please understand I seen it. I want you to know I seen it. I don't want you to think we cool. Candy, you, know? you a gangster. I'm not a gangster, but <laughs> I just don't back down to anybody. Right. Really. Like, I mean I just don't, you know, I just speak my mind. Got you. And you know, and it's not about being drama, because I don't consider myself drama. I just address things and then I'm done with it. Mm -hmm. Like you're not gonna hear like, oh yeah, they was all up in you ain't gonna hear that. Because I'm done with it. It's like I said what I had to say and I'm done. I'm like done. we don't have to talk about it no more. We don't have to talk to each other no more. We mm -hmm. good. It's done. <laughs> Love you know? it. Candy, make sure you get the album Candy Coda Drops this Tuesday. It's B More, 92Q.com.